Algae are a large and diverse group of organisms that use the sun's energy to grow through photosynthesis. Just like plants, algae differ in size, shape, and color. Algae can be found all over the world, both on land and in the water. Aquatic algae live in freshwater environments like lakes and rivers, and saltwater environments including estuaries and the ocean. Algae occur naturally and are an essential component of a healthy aquatic ecosystem. Many animals, including snails, frogs, aquatic insects, and fish, eat algae and are then consumed by other animals, including wading birds, higher in the food web. Without algae, many aquatic ecosystems would collapse. Algae are estimated to produce 50% of the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere, even though they make up less than 1% of photosynthetic biomass on Earth. This oxygen is produced as a byproduct of photosynthesis. Cyanobacteria produced the first oxygen on Earth billions of years ago. Even the oxygen you breathe in the middle of the United States is produced by algae in the ocean. Algal blooms are a rapid overgrowth of algae that occur under certain environmental conditions. Despite their importance, they can have negative impacts on ecosystems and people. Some types of algal blooms are especially harmful to people, animals, and aquatic ecosystems. These are referred to as harmful algal blooms, or HABs for short. Scientists estimate that there are hundreds of thousands of different algae species. This video will cover six major algae types, diatoms, dinoflagellates, cyanobacteria, green algae, red algae, and brown algae. These groups of algae differ in their appearance, where they grow, the production of toxins, and the formation of halves. Diatoms are the first type of algae that we will discuss. Diatoms can live in both freshwater and saltwater. When you look at diatoms under a microscope, you can see that each cell is surrounded by a glass wall made of silica. Some diatom species can form halves and produce toxins. Dinoflagellates can live in both freshwater and saltwater, although most common blooms occur in saltwater. Microscopic dinoflagellates have two flagella. One of these flagella trails the organism and looks like a tail and is used to move it through the water. Some species of dinoflagellates can form halves and produce toxins. Red tides along the west coast of Florida are caused by a type of dinoflagellate called Karenia brevis. Cyanobacteria are known as blue-green algae. They are actually a type of bacteria but are commonly referred to as an algae because they have chlorophyll and most are aquatic. Cyanobacteria exist in freshwater ecosystems such as Lake Okeechobee in Florida. They can also occur in saltwater. Some species of cyanobacteria can form halves and produce toxins. Of all of the types of algae, Green algae are believed to be the most closely related to plants. Green algae can live in both freshwater and saltwater. Some species of green algae are known to produce toxins. An overgrowth of green algae that do not produce toxins can still be problematic. Red algae include a type of seaweed which are only found in salt water. Red algae are not known to produce toxins or form halves, but overgrowth can still be problematic. A type of red algae called red drift algae can be especially problematic when it accumulates on beaches. Despite their similar names, red algae are not related to red tides. Like red algae, brown algae include a type of seaweed only found in saltwater ecosystems, and they are not known to produce toxins or form halves. Sargassum is a type of brown algae that can grow in thick masses in the water and wash up on beaches. In summary, algae are photosynthetic organisms that occur naturally all over the world, including freshwater and saltwater environments. They can be an essential component of aquatic food webs and produce large amounts of oxygen. But too much algal growth is hazardous to ecosystems and people.